country that uh, is a nuclear threat and an exporter of terrorism and that threatens the free world. And yet we tolerate it. But I'm going to ask you a question. You are represented by your brave president. But who speaks for free Iran? 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 For free Iran? So then there's a job to do for you. You saw all these people on this stage, a hundred people representing countries from all over the world. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, today we've heard many people, and we've heard a great cause, and we've heard of a people that are in prison. But yet I look across this great room and I see thousands of free Iranians, thousands of people that can assemble here and wave your, your national flag. There are thousands more that aren't here, thousands more free Iranians. You need to be a voice. You can write, you can call, you can Twitter, you can blog, you can use the uh, social media. You can write op-eds to every newspaper virtually in every free country. But you must be the voice of free Iran. You must go from this hall and carry your message to the free people of the world. When the people of the United States, when the people of Great Britain, when the people of Germany hear about the plight of your people, the people of the world will stand up and say, we will not tolerate this. You go forward. I am reminded of an old folk song, a spiritual in the United States. The words are, let my people go. Let my people go. You are the voice of free Iran. Let your people go. God bless you.